given question two blocks a and b weighing 1999 newton each are connected by a weightless link which is hinged at point o and subjected to a horizontal force p required to keep the blocks from slipping as shown in the diagram coefficient of friction is 0.25 for all contact surfaces find out the applied force p to keep the system in equilibrium position let us understand given diagram there are two blocks ab which are connected with the help of rigid link ab now this link ab is hinged at point o so link ao is connected to block a and link ob is connected to block b now this link is inextensible so we have to show the force applied by this link towards the block now for this case the magnitude of this force is different for block a as well as block b and the reason behind that because this link is hinged at point o so we will say that the magnitude of the force is c1 for this link ao and direction is towards the block so we will show here c1 and the magnitude of force for the block b is c2 and direction is towards the block so this is c2 we have to find out the applied force p at the pin point o so that the system is in equilibrium now the angle in between this link ao with horizontal line is given 30 degree and the angle in between link ob and this horizontal line is given 60 degree now this block a is placed on vertical line so if it is on the verge of moving in downward direction so i will show the motion of the block a so it is on the verge of moving in downward direction now this link a ob having direction of force towards the block b so this block b is on the verge of moving towards the left hand side so i will show the motion of the block b now we will draw the free body diagram and we will find out the magnitude of this applied force p so first we will draw the free body diagram for this block a now the direction of motion of the block a is given in the downward direction so frictional force we have to show in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction now this left hand side is in contact with the vertical surface so for this left hand side we will show the frictional force and we will use here suffix 1 that is f1 now the normal reaction n1 will act perpendicular to the surface so this is the vertical line so we have to show horizontal line passing to the center of the block a and this is n1 now here is the force applied by the link AO. So we have to show that. So on this direction of the force is towards the block. And we have to show the same angle that is 30 degree. So here is the force C. And we will show angle also. So with horizontal line if we draw here angle. Then here is the angle 30 degree that is the same angle. And weight of the block is also given 1999 Newton. Now this weight will act in the downward direction passing through the center. So we have to show this weight. This is the free body diagram for block A. Now in the same way we will draw the free body diagram for block B. So the force applied by the link OB is towards the block. So we will show here C2. Now it is on this upper face so we will show the C2. Now the motion is towards the left hand side so we have to show frictional force in the opposite direction. We will use here suffix 2 and normal reaction 
n2 will be perpendicular to this horizontal line so we will show here n2 now weight weight always act in vertically downward direction passing through the center so we have to show here that is we will show here the magnitude 1 triple 9 newton so this is the block b now we will move for the block A. We will consider the equilibrium of the block A. Now we know that by law of friction there is a relation in between F1 and N1. So F1 by N1 is equal to coefficient of friction mu. So we can say that F1 is equal to mu N1 and value of mu is given 0 0.25. So F1 is equal to 0 0.25 N1. Now summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. Now if we observe C is the inclined force. So we will resolve this C into two components. One is vertical component and other is horizontal component. Now in this case we have to write here as a C1. Uh, because we have written here C1 and here is, uh, C, sorry, here is C2. For the block B it is C2 because magnitude is different for both the blocks. So how we can decide its value? So we can write here C1 cos of 30 and for vertical component C1 sin of 30. Now when we take summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0 then we can write N1 is equal to C1 cos 30. Then we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. Then here is F1, then this weight and this C1 sin 30. So we will write here F1 plus C1 sin 30 and this is opposite direction. So minus 1 triple 9 is equal to 0. We have to find out the value of C1. So if we observe this equation, then we can replace this F1 as a mu N1 that is 0 0.25 N1. And again we will write the value of N1 as a C1 cos 30. So what is the value of F1? That is 0 0.25 into C1 cos 30. Then plus here cos 30 is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 C1 is equal to 1 triple 9. And now we will take here C1 as a common term. And we will transfer the other term to the right hand side. So C1 is equal to 1 triple 9 divided by 0 0.25 cos 30 plus 0 0.5. And when we solve this, we will get the answer 2791.3 Newton. If we observe the given diagram, then at point O, there are three forces, C1, C2 and P. Now, if we observe, the link AO is connected to the block A and it is hinged at this point O. So, this force C1 is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So C1 is acting towards the block and same magnitude is acting towards the hinge O. So we have to show here C1 and direction is towards the point O. Now in the same way for link OB magnitude for C2 acting towards the block B and the same magnitude is acting towards the hinge point O. So we have to show here towards the point O C2 is acting. Now if we observe related to point O this force C1 direction is towards O. Force C2 direction is towards O and this for applied force P direction is towards the point O. Now we will Apply here the Lamis theorem to find out the applied force P. So we have to show here this point O as a center point. Now this C1 is making an angle of 30 degree. So we have to rearrange these forces in such a way that all the forces having outward direction from the center O. So here this C1 is towards the center O. So I will extend this C1. And in the opposite quadrant, we will show here C1. So this is C1. Now it is making angle of 30 degree. So here the angle of 30 degree with horizontal line. So this also horizontal line and C1. So here the same angle is 30 degree. Now 
In the same way we have to show the C2. Now this C2 is having direction towards the center O. And which is making 60 degree angle. Here is 60 degree angle with horizontal. So we have to extend this in the opposite quadrant. And we have to show here C2. Now it is making angle of 60 degree with horizontal. So this is also horizontal line. So here angle is 60 degree. Now force P, it is in the horizontal direction. So along this horizontal line direction we have to show the applied force P and this force we have to find out. Now we will apply the Lamy's theorem. So how we can write here? So we will write here P divided by P divided by sine of angle between C1 and C2. So it is 60 plus 30, 90 degree is equal to C1 divided by sin of angle between other two forces. So C1 divided by sin of angle between C2 and P. So how to find out this? So here is the vertical line. So angle is 90 and this angle remaining angle is 30. So 90 plus 30 that is sin of 120 degree which is equal to C2 divided by sin of angle between P and C1. So how to find out this? So here remaining angle is 30 degree and here the remaining angle is 60 degree. So if we observe 60 plus 30 is 90. So here is vertical line and here is horizontal line. So here 60 plus 60 plus 30. So total angle is 150. So we have to write here as a 150 degree. Now value of C1 we have calculated. So how to find out P? P is equal to C1 divided by sine of 120 multiplied by sine of 90. Value of applied force P is 3223 Newton.